I just have to say one thing. I've taken this so seriously. Like, the amount of research I've done is utterly horrific, but I need to know my shit. Like, this is what I'm passionate about. I need to know everything. Like, I'm taking no prisoners. And when I say I'm taking no prisoners, like, these are my notes. And these are all handwritten notes, right? No copy and pasted. Over however many weeks I've been doing this, I'm gonna say three, because I think that's about right. Every day, I have been reading. Every day, I have been note-taking. So the reason that you're seeing it in that kind of format is because I have to control myself. I have to seriously, seriously control myself because when I get passionate, I talk a lot. <laughs> and if you've watched any of my other videos, you know how ridiculous it can get. So we're gonna keep this simple, as simple as it can get. And we're gonna keep it to the point, and we're gonna keep it straight. Bullet point this stuff, okay? We're gonna bullet point. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, hello, my name is India. I run British Beauty by India here on YouTube. We are a beauty channel. Currently I like to do makeup and skincare, more so on the skincare side, it's my passion. However, I do dabble in everything else in between, but it is all beauty related, so it's all relevant. So if you like what you see here today and you'd like to see his face again, please, please go and subscribe. Right, on to the video. We gotta keep this controlled. How to get rid of wrinkles, a no nonsense guide. So the fact that I have to even create something like this. Oh. So we all know the beauty industry is big. Like it's absolutely massive. Beauty industry is ridiculous. But recently I've been doing my research into the anti-aging market because I just feel like I see it everywhere. We see it everywhere. Adverts for anti-aging products are literally everywhere, everywhere. I see it on Google searches, it's on my Facebook, it's on my Instagram, it's on television, it's on billboards, it's literally, <sighs> it's literally shoved down our throats at every opportunity that these people get. And it's freaking amazing. I mean, it's done in such an amazing way that we do not even realize, yeah? So the gods of marketing are gods for a reason because it's subliminal mystery. I come home sometimes when we were used to be allowed out like, oh yeah, that cream. Why did I see that cream? I was like, oh, I need that cream. Like, it's unbelievable. That's why it drives me insane, because it works. I am a sucker, I'm sure you are a sucker. We're all suckers for this. And that's why recently I was like, you know what? No, I'm not listening to it. I'm gonna do my own research. I'm gonna work this shit out for myself. Now this is how well this marketing works. The global anti-aging market was estimated to be worth 50 billion US dollars in 2018. Better yet, it then grew to an estimated 53 billion in 2019. So this topic is no joke, basically. No joke. If you want my opinion, the majority of it, it's utter bullshit. Super sorry for my French, but it really is. It's absolute crap. So that cream that was just advertised before Love Island, because they know that the majority of people watching that show basically wants to look like the people on that show. So it's going to promise you that. It's going to promise you that, but in a jar, right? So that miracle product in a jar is going to make you look like them. Ew, do you see my point? <laughs> do you get my gist? Now, I appreciate that's a really massive statement for me to make, basically calling bullshit on the entire freaking industry. But you're watching me. You're watching this for a reason, right? Ask yourself why you clicked on this video. What was it about my title that made you click on this video? Because you want me to tell you what this miracle product is, right? Like, seriously, you want me to tell you how to get rid of your wrinkles. Well, frankly, I'm super sorry to disappoint. It does not exist. There is no miracle product. It just doesn't. It does not exist. Not in this day and age, anyway. We're still holding out. <laughs> okay, so after saying all of that, I do want to say this. There are miracle ingredients. That is literally why I am sitting here today, to educate you guys on actual ingredients that have been proven to work, right? No bullshit, no selling. I won't even show you one product. That's not why we're here. I'm not gonna talk about products. I'm talking about ingredients and procedures only. So you guys know what to look for. I'm not getting anything out of this. I'm not getting any money. I have nothing to gain. Other than the fact that that one product will not be bought and basically wasted and then thrown in landfill. So that's why I'm here, because I'm basically, I'm sick of bullshit marketing. And therefore, 
leading to so much waste. So much waste, it's unbelievable. So if one person goes away from this and does not buy into those mass-produced products, I've done my job, basically. That's good enough for me. Really sorry, I felt like that was really heavy, but this is where I had to control myself. This could have just gone on. Like I could have just, okay. Shy them. Okay, so I'm going to focus on ingredients. The reason I keep looking down is because I've got my notes because we're staying on track, we're staying focused. So excuse me if I continuously look down, but gotta get those bullet points out. So <clears throat> I'm going to focus on ingredients, then I'm going to go on to tools and procedures you can do at home. And then of course I'm going to go on to cosmetic procedures because we're here for a no-nonsense guide. No bullshit, right? Like let's be real. <laughs> I have compiled a list of everything. Everything is compiled and I'm gonna put that all down there. So whatever part you think that you like the sound of, you can go down and you can go, okay, yeah, and you can get like a bite-sized information bit and then go on and do your own research. Basically, it's all down there. Okay, so first up is ingredients because it's not all bullshit. Banging skincare does exist, as you know. I bang on about it the majority of the freaking time here. And a damn good skincare regime will do utter wonders for your skin. And obviously prevent wrinkles. But the next time you're out buying products, I want you to focus your attention on the back of that bottle, jar, whatever, you get my word. And I want you to look out for these key ingredients. Now this may shock you, because this list is so small. But that's what I'm seeing here. Call it bullshit. I'm gonna get my list up here now. Talk to you face to face. So first up it's retinoids. That is Tretinoin, Altrino, Retin A, Renova and Tazerac. So among medical treatments, these are by far the most proven and effective way of bettering signs of aging, such as uneven pigmentation, roughness and wrinkling. So at first, these medications may cause redness and peeling, although this can be unpleasant, improvement comes when the peeling stops. So clearly I'm talking about prescription. The reason being, if you're serious, then you just go get a prescription. Because the market is now so saturated with retinol products, there is not enough studies yet to prove these ones work. But there is so much evidence on the prescription ones. So if you guys know, I'm gonna link it up here. I used to use retinoin and I loved it massively, hugely loved it. Like if you're serious, just go see a dermatologist, get a prescription. I've had people comment under this video saying that they've gone to just their GPs and they've managed to get prescriptions. Okay, so now, before I move on, I have to say this because I'm a mother myself. And this is the reason why there is only one video, there is no, nothing after it. It's because you cannot use these products while pregnant or breastfeeding. It's not a joke. I wouldn't even use retinol full stop. No, no over-the-counter Nivea, Pixie, nothing. Don't do it. Just do not use retinol at all while pregnant and breastfeeding, it's not worth it. Which is why I had to stop, because I felt pregnant. So, next ingredient is alpha hydroxy acids, AHAs. We speak about them a lot on my channel, I love my acids. So these are so-called fruit acids. This includes glycolic and lactic acids. Preparations containing these fruit acids are quite safe and cause no more than mild and temporary irritation because they really don't, your skin adjusts. They're super easy to use. The improvement they produce, however, is relatively subtle. Now I agree with that. These are not gonna take away your wrinkles. However, they're going to like buff away that dry, dead kind of upper layer of your skin. They're obviously going to then therefore reveal that kind of plump, dewy, newish skin underneath. They are fantastic for preventative purposes. Next up, it is antioxidants. These include vitamins A, C and E, as well as beta carotene. Products that have antioxidants may provide some protection, though you should start wear sunscreen and mildly improve wrinkles. Now, I love vitamin C, so I'm gonna focus in on vitamin C. I think it's an amazing, amazing ingredient. And as you can see, if you are slightly interested in skincare, Companies are whacking them out like no tomorrow. There is some great vitamin C products out there and I 100% believe in vitamin C. You have a strong believer here. So those are literally the main ingredients. I told you the list was short, but that's it. I'm sorry. I just, we're cutting bullshit out, remember? We're focusing in on what's proven, tried and tested. So now I want to touch briefly on moisturizers in a whole because the majority of basic moisturizers do what they say. They do moisturize the skin and they do plump the skin, therefore making wrinkles look less noticeable. However, no matter what that jar says, if you are looking at a basic moisturizer, they will not take those wrinkles away. Before I go on to my next part, I just want to stress how important sunscreen is. I know I probably sound like your mother, I sure as shit sound like my own, but sun exposure is one of the most aging factors out there. Like, 
it just is, like this is science, it's scientifically proven that sun exposure basically destroys the skin. So if you're gonna invest in all these amazing products, right, you do yourself a favor and do those ingredients a favor and give your skin a good layering of SPF, okay? I promise you as well, there are banging ones out there now. Ones that go completely undetectable and ones that work really well under makeup so you do not have to worry about that kind of like white layer that we used to basically get as children. It doesn't exist anymore, it doesn't need to exist. I don't know about you, but it still exists on my toddler. She gets that whole white layer, bless her. So after all of that, it comes down to this. Botox in a bottle does not exist. I mean, it physically exists in quite literally the Botox vial before they put it in a syringe and inject it into your face, but that's it. That's the only place it exists, okay? I must say, in the first time in my entire life, I am so happy with my skincare regime. I still have wrinkles, okay? It's a very, very normal part of growing up. I'm super sorry, but it's just what it is. These ingredients will lessen wrinkles, of course they do, and they probably prevent them. But this is inevitable. Aging is inevitable. So, if you're thinking, nah, bitch, aging is not inevitable for me. We're going on to the big guns. So, home procedures. Now these are things you can do at home under guidance. I'm gonna stress that because you will have to educate yourself on both of them. Like you need to educate yourself, you just can't go buy it and do it, like just don't. So yes, there is only two that are actually proven to work. So next time you Google it, ignore the lemon and sugar scrubs. Oh my God, I kind of don't wanna say this, but I have to say this. I was speechless. I was knocked speechless when I googled at home anti-wrinkle treatments. I mean the shit people write. It genuinely makes me livid. So we're gonna control it. Control it. Reel it back in. Take a deep breath. We are moving on. Up first we've got derma rolling. Now I'm a huge fan of this. Okay? For so many reasons. I actually have a video if you want to go and watch it. I'm gonna link it up here. I'm also gonna link a really, really good video. Um, that's got nothing to do with me. I just really appreciate the video. I'm also gonna link that because I'm not gonna go too deep into it. And if you're sitting here and you're like, yeah, no, like sound of derma rolling, you need to go and do your thorough, thorough research. So that's why I've linked that. But here is my brief explanation. So when the needle is larger, like 0.5 millimeters and above, that's when you're getting into wound healing stimulation. So a derma roller creates tiny pricks around the skin and gives enough space in between so the wound healing response takes over. Basically, you grow new skin. So now by creating these micro wounds, it is also allowing your skincare to penetrate even deeper, therefore working that much better. Like, who does not like the sound of that? Now people swear by this. I swear by this. So not only do I genuinely sit here and tell you that my wrinkles, I have wrinkles, I'm not gonna lie. I'm nearly 30 years old. I have a very, very expressionate face and a really large mouth, so I smile a lot. So, smile lines, they're my thing. They're actually a lot less noticeable since I started derma rolling a long time ago now, so I feel like I can really sit here and tell you that it's amazing. <laughs> So the other reason I use derma rolling is scarring. Now my scarring is, is, is basically undetectable. I have new scars because I pick my skin. But other than that, you can't see my acne scarring. Huge claim to make, right? Because I'm right. So my skin is plumpy and it's juicy and I freaking love it. I will always derma roll. I think it's amazing. Anyway, so going on from that, it will, however, take you about six weeks to see a noticeable difference, which by the way, I don't think it's a long time. You Remember, you're doing this at home. You're not getting like a professional or anything else to do it. So the fact that you, yourself, can create a difference on your own skin and actually see a difference, that's why we're here, in six weeks is nothing. Next one, glycolic acid peels. So using a higher strength of the AHAs that we basically just spoke about, these superficial peels can make a very slight difference in the intensity of fine wrinkles. I'm a massive fan of doing your own glycolic peels, basically. AHAs will remove those kind of upper layers of your skin. A glycolic acid peel will remove even more layers. So all you're gonna do is get rid of all that kind of dry, crusty old skin and just reveal nice, young, smoother skin underneath. like. Who doesn't want that? Okay, so following on from that, we're now going into our cosmetic procedures. Now, if you think at home procedures with the big guns, these are like the AK-47 guns. Oh, that was so cheesy, I'm so sorry. You get my point, this is like, we're taking this up a notch, like no wrinkles, 
ever, you get my point. That, that's the level we're taking it now. We're taking it on to baby faced, no wrinkles, no creases, and nothing. Okay, so going on to cosmetic procedures. Now, before I get into this, I really, really need to stress the importance of finding someone good because these procedures are no joke. So don't be silly with this. Like, you do not want someone basically fucking your face up because admittedly, these procedures are that serious, you could literally fuck your face. So don't. And I'm really sorry for swearing about I'm being serious. <laughs> Just don't let anybody do it. So deeper peels, also known as chemical peels. So these peels use ingredients like phenyl, TCA, trichlorocatic acid. I'm super sorry if you actually know your shit. I do apologize to you that I cannot pronounce these words. So they penetrate deeper into the skin, basically. <laughs> These deeper peels do a better job of smoothing fine lines. A chemical peel is a technique used to improve and smooth and texture of the skin. So facial skin is mostly treated and scarring can be improved. Chemical peels are intended to remove the outermost layers of the skin. To accomplish this task, the chosen peel solution induces a controlled injury to the skin, resulting in wound healing processes begin to regenerate new tissue. So it's very similar to like, it's like a more intense, really seriously more intense version of derma rolling. But it's going along the sign controlled injury, even though the derma rolling basically counts as minor, microscopic injury. So anyway, <laughs> resulting wound healing processes begin to regenerate new tissue. The dead skin eventually peels off. So the regenerated skin is usually smoother and less wrinkled than the old skin. Such peels can be uncomfortable, so ask ahead of time what to expect. Now, if you've seen Sex in the City, like you're a Sex in the City fan, do you remember that episode where Samantha gets a chemical peel? And, like, she has to wear that huge hat because her face is basically peeled off. They're no joke, okay? <laughs> I actually don't know anyone who's had a chemical peel. I haven't had a chemical peel. I've seen some videos on YouTube about chemical peels, and this is the gist I get from those videos and those people. The downtime is real like two weeks real, like cannot go in outside for two weeks, cannot see the sun for two weeks. But the results are freaking amazing. So you've got to weigh up your pros and cons. So the next procedure is not as intense as a chemical pill. So this is dermabrasion. So this procedure sands the skin, depending obviously a great deal on the skill of the practitioner that's doing it. Again, you need to be careful who touches your face. But dermabrasion can make a massive difference. So dermabrasion is an exfoliated technique that uses rotating instrument to remove the outer layers of skin, usually on the face. This treatment is popular with people who wish to improve the appearance of their face. Some of the conditions it can treat include fine lines, sun damage, acne scars, and uneven texture. So basically dermabrasion removes the damaged out layers on the skin. This exposes new layers of the skin that appear younger and smoother. So next up, laser resurfacing. Again, it's a bit like the chemical peel. There's quite a lot of downtime after a laser resurfacing procedure. So, doctors can use lasers to stimulate the skin's production of collagen, which plumps up the skin. So, laser skin resurfacing is a type of skincare procedure performed by dermatologist or physician. It involves using lasers to help improve skin texture and appearance. So, ablative lasers include carbon dioxide, CO2, or erbium. So, I'm not going to focus on non-ablative lasers because we're talking about serious procedures. Erbium is used for finer line and wrinkles, along with other superficial skin concerns. Laser is no joke. I remember seeing photos of before and after, and they're ridiculous, but again, like the chemical peel, it's a good in-between part of not looking amazing. On to my favourite, and I'm just going to tell you this now, I think this is the best, I think this is the easiest, there's no downtime, and let's just be real. Botox! Botox, Botox, Botox! So, <clears throat> Botox injections relaxes the muscles, okay? Okay, I'm being serious now. So, Botox injections relax the muscles in your face to smooth out lines and wrinkles such as crow's feet and frown lines. It's not permanent. Usually it lasts for around three to four months, but personally, this is the best way to get rid of wrinkles. It just is. I'm sorry. I've had Botox before. I haven't had Botox now in a long period of time. Probably about two years. My books have got pregnant and... I'm still breastfeeding. I can't get Botox or fillers anymore. Not like I used to get it seriously done. I basically got baby Botox. Like I didn't want to lose like the use of my eyebrows because I just feel like basically it's how I communicate. I love Botox, <laughs> can I say? I think if you go and see someone really blooming good, the results can be absolutely amazing. And they can be so amazing that your boyfriend doesn't even realize you've had it done. Cause I kid you not. 
story time. So I went and I got Botox and I got my tretinoin and I got fillers. Now my fillers weren't seriously intense because I didn't I didn't want to change the appearance of my face. I did go see quite literally see a filler expert because I was so scared that someone was going to basically change the way I look. So I don't want to change the way I look. I literally just wanted to get rid of my smile lines, but not even rid of them. I just wanted them to be less deep because obviously I've been naughty in my life and I've smoked <laughs> so she basically gave me fillers here and then she put like the tiniest bit of filler here to basically give that volume back to lift it back up so there wasn't it wasn't so heavy pressing down here basically and then obviously I got Botox he did not know I knew because I thought my face looked bloody fantastic I had no wrinkles this was still there because I think like when it's completely smooth it's a little bit unnatural because I smile continuously I'm telling you right now he had no idea I remember when I was pregnant and he proposed I literally turned around to him on the bus home from the zoo because he did he proposed in the zoo because well if you know me you know me I literally told him well now that we're engaged I guess I could tell you the truth and told you that I've had work done he was like shut up you chatty shit it's like no seriously I've actually had Botox and filler because I have and he's like no you're lying I was like see because he always tells me no you shouldn't have Botox you shouldn't have filler it's so unnatural I didn't even realize I'd had it done that's how good that's how natural you can get it done have the faith I've gone so off track I'm so sorry but mm -hmm, so my last thing is after I've gone on to that is obviously filler you can use filler for wrinkles so when I was doing my research some some doctors actually suggested getting filler here for really really deep seated wrinkles like Gordon Ramsay style wrinkles I'm so sorry Gordon Ramsay I actually do love you but you know what I'm talking about just using him as a reference and then obviously the majority of times filler is used for your smile lines Botox is very rarely used around the mouth unless around literally around your lip where it's like gets feathered that apparently Botox stops that I don't know how but that's what I read okay so that basically concludes our video and now I touch very briefly on each individual bullet point that's just because I wanted to get the information out there and give you guys the opportunity to therefore go on and do your own research and find out more about it so more importantly I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from and I hope that I've taught you something and I hope you can go away from this video realizing that the majority of what we see is just not true and maybe don't just buy sporadically take your time research your products and I promise you you will save your money there'll be less waste on this planet and you might actually find a product that works okay so <clears throat> if you have any questions about anything that i've said here today or just want to chit chat about anything please comment down below i'm always more than happy to answer you also if you're interested you can find me on instagram my username is this is india madeline I speak to you guys a lot on instagram so you, if you want like a more personal conversation feel free to slide into my DMs. Also, if you just want to keep up to date with what I'm doing, I post stupidly sickening amount on Instagram stories. I also notify you guys when I upload and what I have uploaded on Instagram. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And more importantly, if you like my face and would like to see me again, please, please, please subscribe. Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you guys are staying safe and I'm sending you guys lots of love because we live in a crazy world right now. And that is it from me today. I will see you guys next time. I don't know if you noticed, but I think I started here at the beginning of the video, but I ended it here. <laughs> I just kept inching closer and closer. Like, I don't know. The information I'm giving to you is this important. I have to be this close to my camera. The information I'm giving you here is just not serious. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs>